This is the Aka. The Aka is a an edible root or tuber, and it's really, really interesting looking. It's got this vibrant uh, pinkish purplish color with these little, um, I don't even know what you want to call that. This It's got this interesting texture to it. And there are over a hundred different varieties of Aka, and uh, I have two of them. So I've got this pinkish variety, and I also have uh, a white one. The white one also looks really cool. It's got like little purple lines on it. And these were sent to me by uh, Wanderlust Nursery. So if you're interested in this or other different types of interesting plants uh, to grow, check out the, uh, the link in the description below. These are supposed to be kind of like potatoes in flavor, but have a little bit of sourness to them. And that is because these are actually part of the Oxalis uh, genus. And Oxalis is a, a wood sorrel, which is a really popular thing for foragers. Uh, I've foraged it myself a few times. It's got these little cute leaves, like little hearts. And that is, uh, and the cute little yellow flowers too. So if you collect wood sorrel, it's like, uh, it's like a salad without having to put dressing on it. It's got like a nice lemony taste to it. And uh, Oxalis also has oxalic acid in it, which I guess makes sense for the name. So uh, these also have some oxalic acid in them. Some people might have a sensitivity to oxalic acid, in which case you wouldn't want to eat this thing. Uh, I don't, from what I know, so I think I'll be okay. I actually have some of the leaves here, so you can see that these actually do look very, very similar to the wood sorrel that you would, um, that you would forage. And I'm going to try this as well, but first I want to, I want to take a, a bite into one of these. These can be eaten raw, although usually they're cooked like a potato. You can like roast them or boil them. All right. The texture on it is nice and juicy, much juicier than a potato would be, but the flavor is very earthy. It tastes like eating a raw potato. It's a little starchy, not in a way where it's giving me dry mouth or anything, but not like super pleasant to eat it raw. As I take another bite, it's sweeter and um, more tart than a regular potato, which normally would get, I guess, like a zero uh, for both. This one has maybe like a one for both. Not a lot, but a little bit, a little touch. Um, that is the, uh, the pink variety. So let's take a, a bite of the, um, the white variety, see if that's any different raw. Yeah, it is different. The white one has a little bit more um, tartness to it. Not where I'd say it's more than a one, but a little touch more. Um, they do taste different, but very, very similar. I, I wouldn't be able to really pinpoint any particular flavor that this one has that this one doesn't. It's more just like the qualities that it does have are slightly different. Uh, this one's a little bit more tart. This, this one's maybe a little bit more earthy. They're like very, very similar. Um, not bad, but definitely something that you'd want to cook. So some people do eat this raw. Um, for me, I think I'm going to roast these. Before I do that, though, I want to try these leaves here, see how they compare to a uh, regular wood sorrel. Mmm. These are really good. They have tartness to them. I'd say like um, three out of ten for tartness. It tastes like you took a little bit of lettuce and put a squeeze of lemon on it. It's not like a hugely interesting flavor, but it is good. Lemony and grassy. The stems are also edible, so why the hell not? Whoa! More tart. Very fibrous. 
they have a hint of the earthiness that you would get from one of the roots. Yeah, these kind of taste if you were to take the leaves and the roots and mix them together. So I think the leaves raw, really good. Maybe put a little bit of the stem in there and eat that as a side, maybe as a side to these roasted uh, aka. Maybe that's the way to do it. So I'm gonna roast these and see what these taste like cooked. Just gonna drizzle a little bit of oil on it. Add a pinch of salt. Mix these up. And... Yeah, so these look pretty good. It's retained the, uh, the purple color and the purple ones. The white ones are still white. And um, looks good. Smells good. Smells like potatoes, but maybe a touch of a burned molasses kind of flavor to it. Yeah, they're very soft. That's good. That's sour though, which is odd coming from a root. I would expect this to taste just like potatoes from the smell of it, but when you bite into it, it does have sourness to it. And a decent amount. Like potato is zero, lemon is ten, this is like a five, maybe a six. It's um but it's a different type of tartness. It's not citrusy so much, but it is um it's more like vinegary kind of kind of uh, tartness. So it tastes like you made french fries and then put like a drizzle of like vinegar on it or maybe like lemon juice it's got a little pop which is actually really nice with the salt in there it's uh, it's good sweetness is there too like a little touch of sweetness more than a potato but not as much as a sweet potato maybe like a two i'm gonna eat all of these these are really good they're not like a hugely strong flavor they're like a potato, but they're more flavorful than a potato. And dare I say, they are better than potatoes. I think if I were to have the option of having like a side dish of roasted like red potatoes or those, I would go with those. This is one to check out. Uh, I think it's going to be difficult to find this at like a supermarket, but maybe like a farmer's market would have it, in which case I'd say give it a try for sure. But if you're going to grow something like this, it's definitely a good one to grow. And uh, I'll put a link to Wanderlust Nursery in the description below where they sell seeds to plant this, I believe. So check that out. And I think that's about it. So I'll see you next time. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.